Hey y'all, it's time for our next adventure. This is Minnesota Mike, came all the way down from Minnesota. We're gonna be out camping for two nights, having another great Ozark adventure. We want you to come with us. Y'all come on. <laughs> What you think so far? This is a great place. I love hearing the river flowing. It's a mighty flowing river compared to what I'm used to. There's water flowing over the rocks. You should get a shot of that. I did. you already? It's really great. I'm gonna be sleeping in a hammock tonight. I'm gonna be hanging from this tree to this tree over here, but I like him to be about 15 feet or so. Minnesota Mike setting up right over there with his hammock. Our fire is going to be right here. I'm thinking about setting up over here, moving that rock. Just not sure how I want to do it. Don't know if I want to use a tarp or a tent. I'm thinking about wimping out and going with a tent. While Randy's thinking about whether he's going to put up a tent or a tarp or build a cot in the trees, I'm going to just be sitting here waiting on him to figure it out. I think so. So, Minnesota Mike, making him some lunch here. What kind of stove is that? This is rice. No, the stove. Oh. Alcohol? Al it's alcohol stove, but I use heat. You in a yellow bottle. He's going to do that while I'm over here trying to figure out if I want to do a shelter or a tent. Okay, y'all, I've used this tent once before. This is a Guidesman Twin Lakes two-person backpacking tent. It weighs 4.97 pounds, lightweight. It's three foot, two inches tall. Sleeps up to two people, which it really don't. I guess you could, but... And it's water resistant. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm fixing to get going. Okay, y'all, so I thought this was the tent that had the hooks on it that hook on the outside of these poles. It's not. It's the poles that you got to slide through the sleeves. So that's what I'm going to do now. Minnesota Mike, y'all. He made this saw himself, bow saw. Cutting down a dead standing tree.
probably on this side of that other tree. There's one behind you. Gonna show you all these termites here. You know, all this dead wood. Okay, y'all, so it's starting to get dark. We got all of our wood here. We've still got some we got to chop up. That took a while. Now, he's over there working on the lights. He's got some fairy lights here. Gonna hang up. We're gonna string some from that tree to this tree, then from this tree to that tree over my tent and in front of his hammock. And then, we're gonna start the fire right here. And start cooking to eat. Here's the fairy lights, y'all. Little bitty things. It works if you get the handle down there, yeah. Let's see how the Minnesota men do it. Whoa, that looked too easy. Okay, y'all, so Minnesota Mike says to boil your garlic first, and then the outer shell will come off really easy. We'll see. And it's a good knife. All right, y'all. We're getting close. Get on. All the oil is that. Can y'all smell it? Mm, listen to that sizzle. Oh yeah.
We're eating real food this time, y'all. We're gonna try these garlics now. Try one at a time. He said just wiggle them around, they'll pop right out, just like that right there. Look at there, y'all. Look at that. And then take that, we'll take that water and we'll use that water on our veggies. It works, y'all. Now you know. Go tell mama. Okay, y'all, it's getting a little bit chilly, so I'm fixing to head into the tent, put on my pants, put on my jacket while he finishes cooking the food. Time for the veggies, y'all. I'll let you cook them. It's fit. So that right there is carrots and onions with curry sauce in it. Got the chicken there staying warm on a rock. Got all the veggies cooking in here. And it is smelling good. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta have it level so we don't see, let me know if it's getting too full one side or another. Look at there y'all. We are almost ready. It is looking good. Got lights out. There's the tent lit up. There's this hammock not lit up, but we got our strings here. We got our lights in the trees over here. I'm sorry if these lights are kind of blinding, but don't know where to put them. Time to eat y'all. I don't know if it really tastes as good or if I'm just really hungry. <laughs> it tastes good. Is it chicken? There's the chef. <laughs> so good. My battery's running low, y'all, so I want to just show you this real quick. Here in a little bit, we're going to be going to bed after we drink some coffee. But this is a coffee cup that Minnesota Mike made out of what kind of wood? Birch. Out of birch wood. It's called a kooksa. A kooksa. That's what it's called. I think that's just the coolest thing ever, and I'm thinking maybe I'll make one. And I think it'd be cool if anybody else out there would make one. And send us the link. Let us look at it. And one other thing before we call it a night. This wood here, we cut down this log. That's what it looks like on the outside. This is the darkest wood I've ever seen. It looks like a super, super dark brown, almost purplish tone or something. So we think it may be walnut or... Minnesota Mike thinks it might be walnut or oak. If you know what kind of wood that is, let us know in the comments. Okay, y'all, it's bedtime. Minnesota Mike. <laughs> Down for the count. Down for the count. Looks cozy.
Okay, y'all, it's bedtime. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that river down there running is pretty loud. It's actually really calming. Anyway, it's been a good day. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe. Looking forward to tomorrow. See y'all then. Good night. Morning, y'all. It is 6.30 in the morning, 43 degrees. We're fixing to get up, get around, and start a new day. Y'all, come on. Hey, Randy. You ready to screw up another whole day together? Yep, sure am. What kind of filter is that? Water drop. It's kind of a put together cheap piece. It's a Sawyer filter, and this is water drop. Hmm. Hey y'all, so we made it through the night, had a good time, had some good food. We're going to call it a day. We're going to spend today just having some good time. Not going to record much video. I am going to record some shorts, but anyway, I want to thank my friend here, Minnesota Mike, for coming out. We've had a lot of discussions that y'all haven't even heard about, but really, really good. I love him. I appreciate him coming. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thanks, Randy, for having me out. The Ozarks are dear, near and dear to my heart, and um, enjoyed looking at trees and and making something out of a piece of that purple wood that we found. We burned logs, kept fire going all night, and it was really fun just to get up and kick it into gear. And we've had coffee, and we're gonna we're gonna really enjoy the rest of the day.